There's this absolutely crazy program called Descript, and let me show you what it's about. Basically, Descript lets you edit videos as if they're Word documents, which is bloody mind-boggling. You start a new project here and get into it. Today I'm going to be editing a video about Notion, so I'm just going to drag this video that I recorded before, and then it'll say that your trans transcript is ready. And what it does is that it takes everything that you said and converts it into one gigantic word looking document. So through the power of editing, we're going to speed this process up and then it's done. <laughs> I hold that pose for like a good two minutes. And you can see now that when you've got it here like this, if I actually start to play it. When you're trying to work on rather big goals and big projects, having a productivity system is going to be the number one way that you can actually get those done to completion. Do you recognize that voice? <laughs> but basically, let's say that I didn't want to listen to myself and I just wanted to cut everything I said from that paragraph, right? Now, traditionally, if you did that, you'd have to go into something like Final Cut Pro. What you'd have to do is you'd have to, you know, go back to here, go here, cut this, click, click this button, and just chop it off basically, right? Which is a few steps. And then you have to use these like audio waveforms to try to figure out what you said at what particular time. But with Descript, you don't have to go through any of that because you can literally just cut this out by highlighting this paragraph and then deleting it. And you can see that this is a crazy software for helping to increase the speed at which you can produce videos because often when you're producing videos, you'll make mistakes in the stuff that you say that you need to cut. But this lets you save so much time with being able to find things that you said that you just repeatedly said, like you might have said the same sentence five times and then you can cut all of that. Descript has other really cool tools. So for example, let me just put that back because I kind of want that, right? So I'm gonna show you more in depth. So like let's say that I just wanted to do this Get this bit here, right? Goes down to completion. And, and then you've got a huge base of stuff. When you're trying to work on big goals, right? So that's a huge base. So if I just delete this end, now what will happen is when I press option click, completion. When you're trying to work on big goals or big. It's like it never existed. And that's super duper cool. Before I do anything else, my workflow is to attempt to get, because I usually have some sort of screen recording and also my face, right? So what you go is, what you do is you go to here. You right click on this bit and then you create what's called a multi-track sequence. And then here, this setup will be good in a second because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload a version of this recording but with my face. And my camera has obviously recorded a little bit of audio so it knows where to sync up. And so we're just gonna wait again for that to load. Okay, so the file has been added. And now if I was to drag, well, I'm gonna add a new track here and that's just gonna be this one from my face. And I'll drag that into there and then you can see that I've got like if I drag this to the top I could instead if I wanted to use my face as like the top the top layer but what I'm actually going to do is I want to sync up this audio right and to sync up the audio so I'm going to drag my face back down here to sync up this audio let me just get rid of this first bit of it so that I can cut a bunch and then I will generally try to find out where exactly the audio seems to sync up in terms of its shape so here I've sort of roughly got the shape like this and then I will zoom in to just sort of make sure that these are aligned. And the way that you test it out then is that when you press spacebar, when you're trying to work on big goals, or it shouldn't sound like there's any echo or dist distortion or anything like that. Because if there was, then when you actually press spacebar, when you're, when trying, you're trying, trying to work, to work on, on big goals, goals or big projects, project, it sounds really echoey like that, which is not, obviously not good. When you're trying to work on big goals or big projects, or and it's particularly important to line this up because then when you actually delete stuff from the transcript that you've made before, it'll also delete and cut the other file as well. And it's important to have both of these files inside because I've had times where I didn't and then what happens is you can only, you can't cut both of the files at once if you only try to edit one. I've tried, I've tried hacking it, but no, it doesn't work. So then you right click on this bit, create composition from file and you can edit this particular bit. I usually get rid of the original so I don't get confused because sometimes you'll want to work on that one and then it will just you won't be able to use it properly by the way at any time during this video you can download Descript from the link below it is an affiliate link but I just use the software like constantly so I'm more than happy to to talk about it so the next step of my process is I get rid of all the R's and arms and that sort of thing which is really cool if I go to here and I go to remove filler words, you can see that it identifies every single time that I've said something that just sounds like filler word, right? And if I, therefore, sorry, remove filler words, and then you can see there's a lot of ums, you knows. Instead, I just use the uh and um part, 
because I kind of prefer having just like a little bit of space. If you cut it too much, what happens is it sounds a little bit too choppy and it's actually not very nice. So once you've gone to select all those, you can just literally click apply to all and then it deletes every R and um. And if you are someone that's edited video, like that is really, really crazy because it's done, it's gotten rid of all of them <laughs> so quickly. I tend to shorten the word gaps as well. So when there's big pauses between stuff, I will go to shorten word gaps and then I tend to use longer, any word gaps longer than two seconds, I want to shorten to generally 0 0.5 seconds. That way that's Done, it's done 57 cuts on me, which are 57 cuts that I probably would have had to do manually. So that's really super duper awesome. Finally, we get to work on actually like editing the video. So I'm just gonna start editing now and I'll talk about some bits as they crop up. So what I tend to do is then I tend to edit it live. So while I am myself, I'm talking, I'll just delete the words that I don't want from the thing because that's gonna edit the video. So here I'm gonna delete this part, for example. I've actually tried to do the intro a few times and I can see that I attempted it. <laughs> so I'm going to literally delete all this bit here. So I'm going to delete this bit too because this is a duplicate. Now let me show you something fascinating that I sort of tricked a friend with. <laughs> so basically this particular software also lets you deep fake your voice. Let's say that I forgot to say something, then I can be like, this productivity system is super duper rad and I'm glad that I can show people, I can show you guys the script. That's a sentence that I've never said before in my life. <laughs> what you can do is you can actually use one of the voices here. You can actually train your own voice on it as well, but I'm just gonna use one of the voices here, for example, and I'm gonna make it Don, change this one back to me. This AI generated voice can take a minute or two to work, but then when you actually play it, this productivity system is super duper rad and I'm glad that I can show you guys the script. So that's really, really awesome. I have done it on my own voice before, so here is an example of that. And you can see it's like, it's okay. It's not the most convincing, but it's definitely enough to, if you have some words that you just want to change a little bit, you can certainly dub yourself over like that. Now, this script can actually become subtitles as well, which is synced up. So for example, if you're doing your own subtitling and maybe you're wanting to translate it to different languages or whatever, then you can certainly do that. So here you would just highlight this bit and where it says, Hi, I'm Davido, a doctor and YouTuber. Well, I'm not a widow doctrine and YouTuber. <laughs> I'm Davido a doctor and YouTuber. That's quite easy to correct. Hi, I'm Davido, a doctor and YouTuber, and in this video I'm going to show you my productivity system. I've been thinking about YouTube a lot in the last few months, and in this video I'm going to show you the... So that's kind of nice. So let me speed through this right now, and I'll show you the end result. We're going to cut down 24 minutes of footage, and it's currently 8.02pm, and so this is what it looks like. So here's a good example of something that I've said a whole bunch of times, right? I'm like, if you want to achieve a big project, if you want to achieve a big project, if you want to achieve something big, if you want. So I know that all that text is going to be absolutely rubbish. I'm probably just going to delete everything. You might be thinking, is this accurate? It's reasonably accurate to the point where you can understand most parts of what you're saying, but it probably, maybe it has about like 80 to 90% accuracy. So definitely there's about 20% of stuff, especially if you use weird words that it doesn't quite get, but at least the syncing is really good. So even if you have like a strange word, you can actually delete the weird word and it'll be fine. You don't need to correct it or anything. Here, I'm gonna spend extra time actually just putting in different subtitles and making sure it's correct because eventually I would prefer for this particular video to be translated into other languages and stuff. So by being able to make a transcript really easily and correcting it live, it's going to be a lot easier for the translator to have a look at it rather than to have to try to understand what the heck I'm saying. Okay, so sometimes you've got these bits where it doesn't quite work and so you've got these big pauses that happen afterwards, but luckily you can actually edit the timeline itself to be able to cut that as if you cut the clip. So originally the pause was like, I have no idea what's over, but it's worth while trying. Which is really long. So instead, I'm just gonna drag this end here, and instead, I have no idea what's over, but it's worth while trying it. And then you've got it perfect like that. Okay, so here I'm just gonna delete a whole bunch of stuff because I don't think it's very interesting. It's about tables and times and stuff, but nah, 
blah, blah. So we're gonna delete literally paragraphs of stuff that would have taken me probably 10 to 15 minutes at least to go through. And we're just gonna skip it all. <laughs> so this is the amount that we're gonna delete and just literally press delete. <laughs> So that wasn't too bad, it's 8.42 now, that was with a few distractions from other people and now we've whittled down those 24 minutes into a 10 minute video with really really good subtitles. So the next part of the process is to actually put it into Final Cut Pro so I can do the final edit. And so what I do is I actually export the timeline like this, put it into my fast YT upload thingamajiggy which is a big folder I have all the YouTube videos that I put on, and then I'll have this new folder generated here. This is a bit tricky, but what you do is you go to make a new library, and then put it into that particular folder that you just created from the system. You can't move this folder, <laughs> unfortunately, because of the way that Descript uses it. It has to actually hard code the stuff into that document. So you have to put everything to this new folder that you've created and name it whatever it's named. <laughs> unfortunately, I named it screen cap sequence, but let's just do that for the time being. And then I'm going to put it, make a new project here like this. It's going to be 30 frames per second. And again, I'm going to name that screen cap sequence. Then when I click on here, I can go to import, and then if you try to just import the FPC XML, you'll come up with this error. And so what you actually need to do is you need to go and drag the files that were part of the videos in Descript, and then drag that into the folder itself, so now they're all part of the same folder. And so when you do it again, then you can automatically get everything cut for you in Final Cut Pro, like this. And so here we've got our beautiful, beautifully cut sequence that we've cut just in Descript itself. This took me ages to figure out. I'm so glad I finally figured it out because it's going to save so much time. The, the cool thing is that if you wanted to, you can even search the captions that you now type as well. So for example, if I wanted to search the parts where I talked about anime, then you can actually do that in Final Cut Pro. So that's sick because then you can go to particular clips if you want to. But, but what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to create one gigantic compound clip here and one gigantic compound clip here so I can edit everything at once. Then I can drag myself above here like this and I can do my usual video editing. If you want to try Descript yourself, you can try it for free, but you can click on my link in the description below and you know, the cost is not too bad. It's 24 US dollars per editor per month for the pro plan where you get 30 hours of transcription and also the things like overdub and filler words and that sort of thing. So that's the plan that I use, but it saves me so much time that I'm more than happy to talk about it in a video like this. So link for Descript is in the comments below and feel free to subscribe if you're interested in technology and productivity and all those sorts of things. I hope this blew your mind as much as it blew my mind when I first started using this thing. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.